387. Hey man, don't you see me working out? I'm trying to focus. Got 10 more to go. 392. Three, hold on, y'all. I'm coming. Let me finish my workout. 400. 425. 478. Ah, 500. 500. Man, what are you doing in my video, man? You come in. I'm trying to talk about phone. You won't come in. I'm trying to work out. I'm trying to work out. And you won't come out here and show everybody your guns, man. I ought to edit that out. Let me pop up in the video. It's, making me it's, look Texas. Bad. it's Texas. We're over here. He's making me look bad, man. But he's faster than me. He's much faster than me. It's a track show. And prettier, too. It's a track show. What are you doing over here? You're not Jamie Warner. Get out of the way. He's the only white person that we act alike and can run. And we appreciate on track shows. You're not him at all. Not even close. Mm -mm. All right, y'all. Guess what? It's the middle of my workout. That's something I'm gonna get my gains on. Cause I might run, I might come back and run this show. You never know what I'm gonna do. Pay attention to that guy in the background. That exercise looks really, really funny. I don't even know what he's doing. I hope it's something for his hips because uh, I think I wrote that. Uh, but the way he's doing it, it just don't look right. And I don't like that he's doing it right now. And I didn't know that he was gonna be doing it while I was gonna be talking to y'all while I'm doing it. But he can keep going though, cause he look funny. You're gonna be on the show looking like that too. You look like you back there humping the, the, the seat next to you. You don't you look right. I didn't break it. That wasn't me that broke it. It was J Javon broke it. But just because it's broke don't mean you got to be back there all on my show looking like you hunching the seat, man. Like, keep your chest up, man. You make me look bad. Let me get my seat. Hey! All right, anyway, check this out. This is why we here today. I'm going to talk to y'all for a second. I got a bone to pick, okay? I got a bone to pick with USA Track and Field. And I double I'm gonna tell you why, all right? Y'all saw me. I'm in the weight room. I'm getting my guns together. I'm getting my gains right. Imagine if I was still running, right? I'm in the weight room. I'm getting myself together. Whoa, I'm getting strong. I'm getting all my stuff together. I find out my agent say, Ray, you gotta track me. I say, John, that's what I'm talking about, baby. I told you I was getting ready. Where am I racing at? He say, Ray, you're running in Gates head. All right, John, cool. Um, all right, who, what I got next? Ray, don't worry about it, I got you set up. When you get done in Gates Head, guess where you're going? I say, where I'm going, baby, where I'm going. I know I'm gonna have to run fast and next track me. He say, Ray, you're going to Prefontaine. What? Damn, John. Oh, 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 Oregon? Shit, okay. All right, but don't worry, Ray, because I got your whole lineup set up. I say, okay, John, cool. All right, well, 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 well um, where I'm going after that? Well, it's two track meets, right? They got one in Dallas and they got one in Houston. Dallas? What? What? TC, T, T, TCU? SMU? No! No! You at AP Ranch. First of all, there's some cows out there? Like, AP Ranch? What What the hell is that? What is that? They just trust me, Ray. Trust me. Okay. All right. What's out? Houston out the AP Ranch? Yeah, you're going right down the road to Houston, Ray. Just don't even worry about it. Okay. Two American races. That's cool. Um, What's after that? Don't worry, Ray. I knew you were going to ask me that. You know I got the baby. I got your whole schedule set up. After that, you're going to hang glow. Damn, John. Hang glow? Okay, so I got to go Gateshead. Then I got to go to Oregon. And then I got to go Dallas, Houston, and hang glow. John, don't none of these places sound like the weather going to be. Don't worry about it, Ray. The weather's going to be perfect. I don't know, John. I mean, I've been watching, you know, the weather channel and stuff and, uh, you know, and actually in school, I learned that, you know, especially like what Gates said in London is that it, it rains a lot there. You sure that's where I want? I, I need to go? Yep, that's where you're going. All right, and, and I got to go to Oregon next? Yep. Okay, so and these are the track meets I'm supposed to run in to qualify for the trials? That's right, Ray. Them the ones you, you got. You got to hit your time. Okay, I'll try, John. I, I'll try. I'll try. So here's what happened, people. You already know what happens. You saw it yourself. What happened to Gates Head? Three, a negative three headwind. Negative three. And raining. 50 degree weather. But then what happened? Everybody back home be asking us, man, Ray, what happened, man? You ran, ran 10-5. What happened? 
What the hell you mean? What happened? You ever been to London? Nope. Damn, you haven't, huh? So you don't know nothing about the weather. Eh? Ain't got a clue. That's why I ran 10 5. So you leave there, go to Oregon. Hiya! Boom! Oregon. Raining. 52 degrees. What you run, Ray? 10 3? Man, you know the qualifying time 10 1. No shit, Sherlock! It's 10 1. But how in the hell am I gonna qualify when you keep sending me all these damn countries where it rain at? And, when, and then when it, when it ain't raining, you say, okay, it ain't raining. It ain't raining no more. But you still got me in London in May. That's that day summertime, fool. It ain't summertime in London in May. It's cold as hell. And then you say, you know what? That's okay, Ray. I got you one more for you. I'm sending you to Scotland. God damn, Scotland is even further north, dude. I know he's too live when Scotland is even further. I check the temperature, it's 58 degrees. It's summertime, they outside swimming. I live in Texas. My body can't acclimate to running no damn 58 degree weather. And here you come jumping on my case cause I ain't qualified yet. Here come the shoe company getting mad. Well, what you doing? You still ain't qualified. Don't none of y'all have the common damn sense to understand that every place you keep putting these track meets in is the worst place on planet earth to put them in. And you, get, you can't understand. You be like, man, I thought you was ready, right? You said you were ready. I'm ready to run in normal conditions, okay? I'm not superhuman, all right? I'm not Superman, okay? I'm ready to run in normal humanly body conditions. You know what I mean? I don't know, I probably need some sun. I don't know, considering that track and field is out damn side, I probably need some sun. I probably need the wind to my back. I probably don't need to be cloudy. I don't know, I, 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 damn sure need to be snowing. Been there before too, true story. True story, I was in Birmingham, England, so true story. Birmingham, damn England, why am I on the starting line with some coffee? Coffee, not Gatorade, not water. I'm putting my coffee down before they say it runs on your mark. And normally the caffeine is for to make you run fast in the summertime. Why I gotta just do this to even be out here? And so then, here we come, where we at now? Y'all know me. I'm supposed to report all the good track and field information. So I'm paying attention to what's going on in Houston. I'm like, well, they finna run. Ain't a lot of folks down there, but you know, I see 400 might be all right. Mike down there, you know, we see what Jeff Dimps coming out. Let's see what's going on. I'm sitting back. I get, I get, I get, I get the message. Ray, right. what's up? What's up? What they doing? What they doing? They ain't doing that, man. Them track meet on hold. What you mean it's on hold? Man, you know, it's time in Houston. Always storms. Hell? All right, well, contact let me know what's going on. What's up? They running yet? Nah, man. They canceled the whole track meet. Why? Because of the weather? You mean the same damn weather that been up for a whole damn week? You didn't know it was coming today. So you still tried to have a damn track me. And what did that do? What did that do? You got all these Europeans over here from, from uh, wherever they at trying to do the same thing as to qualify. And they don't spend all their damn money to fly from Nigeria, to fly from, from Sweden, to fly from damn Zurich, to fly from the moon, wherever they came from. They don't spend all their damn money just to come to a place that you know going to be humid and raining. That don't make no damn sense to me. Zero, zilch, nada, none. And then guess what? We run out of time. That was last track meet. So now what has to happen? People gotta go where to try and qualify. Same place they go every year, Florida. Well, this is my thing then. At what point in time, USATF, IAAF, WADA, all y'all people, gonna figure this shit out, okay? It's very simple, all right? It's called climate, people. It's called a map. It's called geography. It's called look at what the hell it don't rain at all the damn time and put it there. What the hell are we running in San Diego? I've never ran a track meet in San Diego. And San Diego got the best damn weather on the planet. Never ran there before. Why? I don't know why y'all tell me. Why the hell are we running Carson in more Home Depot Center? It barely rained there. Don't rain no more. Las Vegas. I don't think it ever rained in Vegas rain, period. When they, when the Tony, Tony, Tony boys made that song, it never rained in Southern California, they really meant Vegas. It never rained in Vegas. Why the hell would it never rain in Vegas? Don't know. Arizona, don't know. I ain't got a clue. I ain't got a damn clue. But wherever it's gonna rain at, let's put it there. Let's go, let's go, let's go to London. Let's run there. When's the last time it has it been 80 degrees in London? Just go ahead. Somebody Google that and put it down here in the comments for me, cause I'm just curious. Cause I ain't gonna look it up. Cause I'm saying it ain't never been 80 degrees in London. And if it was, they probably would've died cause it's too damn hot, all right? So my whole thing to y'all is this right here. We gotta get this shit figured out. Cause every year we go through the same thing. We go through the same thing. You get like one shot. I'm gonna tell you where you got to go. If you a professional athlete, 
ain't but one or two places you can go in track and field to try and qualify. Guess where they at? Where the hell you practice at? Because most of us don't live in no damn rainy climates at all. Every year, every year. And then on the athlete side, that's the stress that these that, that put on us. If I don't gear it up, like these, like these boys and these girls down here in Houston, I'm trying to get my qualifying mark. I done did everything right last week. I didn't go out. I didn't party. I ain't had no sex with my girlfriend, my boyfriend. I ain't did nothing wrong. I ate right. I slept right. I had my vitamins. I got all my sleep. I did everything I could to prepare myself to qualify for the trials. And guess why I can't qualify? Because y'all keep putting these damn track meets in places where you can't qualify at. Why? Why? I'm a fan of, guess what? Do the whole goddamn season in California. I don't give a damn. Bounce around. Just don't go to, to the northern where it's cold at. Sacramento, nice. L.A., nice. San Diego, nice. Venice Beach, nice. They got, they got schools. They got colleges. They got all type of stuff. Why do we must keep going to these horrible conditions to try and run in? It don't make no damn sense. It's a waste of money. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of effort. It's a waste of energy. Look who we sitting at again today. Whole track me gone. Ain't, can't do nothing. And who knows if that would have been a track meet that somebody would have qualified for. Or who knows if that was the only shot they had left to qualify. And you put them in a, in a place to where the conditions is horrible. Same thing with the Diamond League. Hey, I love Europe. I'm a fan of Europe. Why? Because Europe appreciates track and field. People actually come watch it over there, which is why we got to go over there and run, which is what I'm trying to do is shift it so people can stay over here and watch us run. But anyway, we'll get to that in a couple years. We can't keep going to damn Europe to run. It don't do us no good. It don't do, I mean us, it don't do the sport no good. Ain't no fans coming out to watch nobody run in no rain. And then what the fans don't understand and start to ridicule and criticize the athletes when they see these times, just like Gates here, they're like, man, how she go from 10-7 and now they only run 11-4? Well, stupid, when she ran 10-7, it was 95 degrees outside. She didn't even have to warm up. <laughs> she just took her clothes off and body's like, let's go, I'm getting it. Come on, hurry up, I gotta I got get some water. That's how. But then you take this same person that don't ran 10-7, or you take this same dude that don't ran 9-8 in Florida, and you go put them over there in London, guess what ain't gonna happen? If they run 9-7 again, Jack, we need to damn blood drug test them. Because it ain't possible. It's literally not possible. Now, I ain't trying to say that people in the past who've done this was on anything. I'm just saying, sometimes you can't just get off the plane and run the same thing in London or in Rome when it's cold that you ran in Orlando when it was hot last week. I'm not insinuating. As a matter of fact, anything, I'm trying to explain to y'all how a lot of these athletes really ain't on nothing. You think they is, but they ain't. Why? They just showed you, man, I ain't on nothing. Why? Look how I just read in London. Now, I'm not saying that when athletes was able to get off the plane and run fast, they was on something. I'll let you figure that part out. But I'm just going to say the ones that, I'm just gonna, I, that's for you to figure out. That's for you and yourself trying to figure out. That ain't me trying to figure out for you to explain to you. But I'm just saying, the body don't supposed to do the same thing every time it get on the track. I'm going to leave it at that. But my whole rate take today is, we got to do something about these damn locations. I know, I know, I know the history. I, damn it, I ran it everywhere. I done ran it wrong. I done ran it all these damn places. I know the history in track and field in these places. But guess what? There was a lot of history in a lot of these damn NFL stadiums and what they do. They tore them shits down. They moved whole teams from L.A. to Vegas and stuff. Why? Because of the condition and because of the money. The money factor. It ain't doing us no good to keep putting these track meets in these these same places every year every year is the same track meets in the same places every single year and the same result happen i tell y'all all the time i still don't know how boat did it i was in the race okay i was in new york it started raining at nine o'clock we raced at 11 30. i was ready to go to the club but i couldn't because they had the track meet on hold for the storm to pass and then the storm passed, and I run 10-10 looking ugly, and my agent like, well, wait, what happened? First of all, the man broke the damn world record. Don't even talk to me, okay? Go talk to him. You should be talking to nobody from second to, to ninth about this race, because he the one that damn broke the world record, all right? Talk about why he just did that shit. Let's talk about that, okay? Let me come to me tomorrow some why I ran bad. I've been out here for four hours, John, when it's got them storm passed. That's why I ran bad. Same thing just happened in Houston, except for the storm never passed. You know how many folks don't wasted money and just flying, driving down there? It's not fair. It's not fair at all. 
If anything, if these track meets keep getting rained out, canceled, that should be a consolation prize for the athletes. Some type of reimbursement. Some type of, hey, man, I spent seven, eight hundred dollars to come down here. I want my money back, Jack. Ain't no track meet. And it's because of the weather, because you didn't change it? That's not my fault. I ain't, I ain't got the money to keep doing this. That's not, y'all got to, we got to do something different. That's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair to the athletes. That's the same thing I keep trying to say all the time. This sport is for the athletes. Y'all are making it too much about y'all. It's where you want to be comfortable at. It's because, well, you know, my school's in Houston, so let's have it. No, Jack, it ain't about that, Jack. The shoe company, well, you know, we got to have USA Trials in Oregon every year because this is Track Town USA. Well, Track Town needs to be somewhere else then. You better move that shit to Atlanta. Move that shit to, to, to Las Vegas and make that track town because don't do us no good. You want us to come up there and run in the horrible conditions because all the people in Oregon like track and field, track and field. What about us? What about us? What about the ones who's actually out there competing? I keep trying to tell y'all, stop treating us like prostitutes and horses. It's not who we are. We're athletes. We are professional athletes. And the reason why the world don't respect us as professional athletes is because of the people who are in charge, how y'all treat us. Y'all need to treat us like professional athletes. So how the hell the rest of the world going to treat us like professional athletes when you don't? There's no... Addison Phoenix should not be running no goddamn middle no field in Fort Worth with a bunch of dirt and, and mud on the ground. No. Shakari shouldn't be going over there to London and then having to run bad against somebody who's from Great Britain and she run better because she used to them climbers. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be that way. We got to change that shit, man. We got to change that. that like, it's not fair. It's not fair. And that's my whole rate take for the day, man. Like, I'm, I'm a tad bit upset about the whole fact that I got a lot of friends down there in Houston that's been hitting me up. Like, man, this is some bullshit, man. Like, they got us down here. They knew it was going to storm. They could have moved it then. You're right. Simple solution. Have backup plans. Hey, well, look here. If something go wrong with this weather, y'all just know that you might not be going to this place now. We got a backup venue nearby based on the weather. So you might not be flying to Houston. Or you might fly to Houston and then if we realize the weather ain't changing, everybody might be getting on a plane that same day to fly to the backup location that's actually damn dry so that we can actually run. Fix that shit! Damn! I keep telling y'all, messing up my workout. I didn't even want to come on here today. I was trying to get my workout in. And then I seen all this shit. And I had to come talk to somebody about it. Damn. 512. 513. Oh, I just did it on. My bad, y'all. One. 